Good morning guys, it is day 68, leaving Lucas. We're outside the only cafe on the way out of town that we found empty. Look at the gates right here. It is uh, 7.15 and I think everything opens at 7.30. Great day ahead, only 18 kilometers. And we already have uh, the place booked. We're supposed to get there before 4 p.m. at any time. But 18 kilometers, so I think we should be there around noon. The cities are completely deserted. In vast contrast to uh, yesterday. Yesterday was just full of people going on and on. Guys, just wanted to give you a heads up that this is uh, my video blog. It is not a documentary. What I say here is just my opinion, whatever comes to my mind, whatever I see around me at the moment. And I know for a fact that I've been wrong before and I will be wrong ahead. And now, let me enjoy breakfast, because it's ready. Very interesting, I was just uh, walking out of the city, walked by this uh, open church, and I saw a congregation of uh, nuns in there, stepped in to take a closer look, and it turns out there were nuns from all over the world. And as luck will have it, on my first day with my new hat, check out the sky. Completely overcast. I did it for style, not for uh, practicality, because the brim is not even that wide. What do you guys think? You like it? How about you leave a comment down below? It was a quick coffee break by the church where we saw a procession. And then on the way out of town, a huge peloton just passed us by. We are five kilometers away. And I think we're gonna get there before noon, which is great. So we made it to uh, the small village of uh, Alto Pacho at noon. We, had, we were welcomed by the guy in charge of uh, the pilgrims uh, place. This village has a lot of history, man, especially with, when it comes to pilgrims. Uh, the guy showed us around, showed us uh, the different doors and what uh, they were for. I uh, got a stamp. Yep. And in this place, as of this moment, there are 11 pilgrims, including myself. So it is the place with the most so far on the trip. I met two pilgrims that I had seen at the Casio, that I had breakfast with them. Saw them come in at the last minute and uh, went out for lunch uh, to the only restaurant that was open because everything is closed around here. 
especially for, for lunch, maybe for dinner there will be a few places. I have pasta and uh, beer and, uh, and some coffee. Made it back, I took a shower and, and washed my clothes. And uh, it is six o'clock, gonna do a little droning and then get ready for dinner. Day 68 is now in the books. I had a uh, dinner with the gang, and then another pilgrim uh, joined us. We went for uh, appetizers. We split the appetizers three ways. Uh, we had uh, red wine, and then I had uh, pasta with wild borg meat. First time, it was awesome. And then came the best part, apple pie made by the mother it was recommended to us by the Sun, and uh, we struck a conversation. We were talking about the Via Francigena, uh, their business, the history of the place, and uh, I took a picture of them, a little bit of video, and I will be sending that picture in a couple of days. It was just uh, over, overall, it was just great. Um, tomorrow is gonna be a pretty long day, 30 kilometers or so. Hopefully uh, the scenery changes because today was pretty, you know, bland. Uh, still great. You need the highs and the lows if you need to, if you're gonna enjoy the, the trip. Met a bunch of uh, pilgrims. Some of them, or most of them, started uh, yesterday from from uh, Lon. Most of them started today from Lon. And I'm getting the feeling that more are going to join in. The place that we're staying tomorrow has uh, 52 beds. So that should give you an idea of what's coming up ahead. Well, guys, that's it for today. Great day, as always. Day uh, 68 now in the books. And so is the vlog. See you guys tomorrow.